So at the end, let's just do an example, another example of a periodic signal. And um, let's do this example. So let's try to construct a square wave. Yeah, so that's our x of t. So it's t, and this is a square wave. So what I propose is, or what I think works is, that if we are setting ck, the ck is in the following way that, um, so C, um, c1 is 1, c2 is 0, and then c3 is a third, and c4 is 0, and then c5 is a fifth, and you're getting getting the idea. So if I continue this, so if I'm using these coefficients for our function x of t here, let's just write this down again. So if you do something like that, ck e2 j 2 pi k f1 t. So if I do that, that we are getting a square wave. Okay, let's try this out here in, in octave. So the way, let's create a vector t from 0 to 0 0.1 and 20. Let's see if we're getting, getting this t out there. Yeah, that's the case. So if we plot our fundamental frequency, plot sine of t, let's pull this on our screen here. That's, uh, here we go. So we see we've got a sine wave coming out here. So this sine wave means we have our C1 equals 1 set. So now let's let's add this one to it. So this means we have three times the fundamental frequency, but the amplitude is a third. Yeah, so this becomes a third, and this is factor factor 3 here for the k. So let's do do that and add this to it. Yeah, so we do a third, that's our ck. So in this case, c3 multiplied, or let's write this like this, sine of t divided by, by 3. Let's have a look how this, how this looks like. Oops, wrong wrong frequency because we have this is three times a fundamental frequency otherwise we won't see anything okay so now we see that um, this looks already a bit like a like a square wave here so what we can just can do is we, we um, can just continue with this game here just by adding sine 3 multiplied by t divided by 5 and then let's try this out. And so we see the ripples on top are becoming smaller. So if we have sine seven multiplied by t divided by, by seven, should give us already quite a nice sine wave. So now we've got a syntax error here. Got a and so we see that this already slowly approaching a square wave here. So if we are continuing with this infinitely, just by having, just by using using the odd multiples of the harmonics, so the odd harmonics, and um, reducing the amplitude by these factors here, then we are slowly reaching a square wave.